So let's have a look and see how those usage topologies all come together in a real world example. So I've received an email from a colleague. Uh, we've been working on a document together. So let's see how we can work on it some more. So I can have a look, I can see his presence. Um, I can see he's online. So let's send him an instant message and see if he's got some time now. So we can see Dion's typing, it lets you know that he's replying, uh, and he said that he has got time, so great, let's collaborate on this document. So what's happening here is I'm going to share the document that we want to work on, so we can both be looking at exactly the same thing. So we click on the share, we choose the program we want to share and then we present it. You'll get a warning saying that you are sharing so other people can view what you're uh, putting out there. And there we go, that's the document that we're sharing. Now Dion can see the same document that I can. Um, so we can now collaborate and work on exactly the same thing and make sure we're, we're both clear on what we're doing. Now one of the advantages of this way of collaborating is that I can actually pass control of this shared document or whatever the share might be to whomever is actually in this conference with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Dion control so he can highlight the part of the document that he wants to talk about. So here what I'm going to do is just click the give control button and select the person that I want to give control to. I get a warning saying that obviously somebody's going to be controlling uh, my machine. And what we should see is Dion highlighting the piece of the document that uh, he wants to discuss and talk about. So what we'll see here is Dion selecting the uh, document and just the pieces that he wants to actually discuss. There you go, and you can see that he's uh, highlighted them as well. So I'm just going to take back control now because I know what he wants to talk about and I'm going to suggest that we actually change this instant message and collaboration session to a voice call because sometimes it is easier to talk than it is to type. Great. So to switch to a voice call, simple matter of hitting the telephone button and that will establish the call, whether it's over VoIP or whether it's through uh, your mobile phone or, or to a normal desk phone. There we go, we now have a voice call going. Now during the voice call we can continue to do instant messaging as well. And of course, we can also escalate this voice call to a video call as well. So why don't we do that? And there we go, we've changed it to a video call. Uh, and, in, and bear in mind, we've still got the collaboration session running, so Dion can still see the document that we're both working on. So we can both view the same thing, and we can also have a, a interactive discussion uh, about what we're working on. So as you can see in that simple demonstration, the platform itself is very easy to use and that simplicity of use really does drive the adoption within the user population. In terms of location, for example, Dion is actually located in one of our client's offices in Glasgow at the moment, whereas I am in one of the SCC offices in London. So as you can see, as long as we both have a, an internet connection and we're configured appropriately, we can collaborate regardless of the location of any of the people within those sessions, which uh, I'm sure you can appreciate is a very powerful function of the platform.
It's also worth remembering that this system fully supports the use of federation between different organisations and also public services. So, for example, we could allow federation to Office 365 users for the full stack of functions there, so the voice, the video, and also the collaboration piece. You can also federate with other partner companies that have similar technology to kind of further leverage the use of that, uh, that collaboration, which, which of course will drive down the cost of travel and also speed the productivity to allow people to communicate faster. As you can see, we're just finishing off that conversation now. So I hope you found that small demonstration useful and uh, hopefully we can continue the conversation.